Alrighty, Lee, and we're going to be talking about how to stop pulling the golf ball, no right? Problem. A lot of players struggle with it. Of course. Right Very hander, common. if I'm aiming at my target, that one got lucky and went straight. <laughs> but anything that goes further left of that, yep. let's just, for simplification, call it a pull. Uh, yep. Now, uh, I was scrolling through some of the content that you've got yep. out there, and there was a fantastic drill that I saw of you getting a player to grip about halfway down yep. the club. Indeed. So I want you to talk about the cause and effect and why that would help a lot of players at home on how to stop pulling the ball. No problem. So obviously the one thing we know is the club face is the you know the main thing that's responsible for, for pulling the ball yep. and where that's pointing the impact. Yep. And that's a very basic drill because one of the, the most common things that we start to see, especially with a lot of amateur golfers, is if we refer to this kind of unit here with my arms and the golf club, we see this breakdown through impact. So if I do that towards the camera, we see this breaking down where the club's overtaking me at a very quick rate. Yeah. Now, if that's happening, obviously that golf club's going to be pointing to the left. So the whole purpose of the drill, if you want to want to demonstrate that. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah, sure. So if you if you hold that golf club just halfway down there for me. Halfway down? Yeah, the please. Shot, yeah? Perfect. So now we can see we've got the shaft running up the side of the body. Now, mm -hmm. the whole intent now would be if you swing up to the top and slowly back down into the ball, if we're trying to keep this butt end leading and create this distance between the club and the body through the ball, we can now see that the hands are obviously leading this now, which is going to reduce the overtaking rate of this golf club and therefore correct exactly. So there, therefore we're going to see to stop the face angle a little bit closer to the target line, if anything, to the right, and that's going to eliminate the pull for you straight away. That's fantastic. And why don't we, from the address position, I just want to go back and highlight really the fault of the player who would be pulling the ball yep. the most. And I want you to move me into position, right? So let's say that I'm a player who pulls the ball. I'm going yep. to get to the top. And you're saying that the club head is going to pass the handle on the way through. Indeed, correct. So now you'll start to see there's a slight delay in this, but then we start to see players release this a little too early. And now as a result, we can see obviously the golf clubs overtaking the butt end of the golf club. And therefore we see the face angle to the left of the target. Now, contrary to that, exactly, if you went the other way there and just did that drill for me again, and you got the butt end leading to my hand a little bit earlier, we now start to see this delay of the club head trailing the hands a fraction more, and therefore much easier to keep that club face square at impact. There's a few things I really like about this, right? Number one would be, it adds another uh, a visual reference using the end of the mm -hmm. club, even for small things like coming down into impact to try and get this relatively aligned Ab with the Correct, line. indeed. Yeah. Absolutely right. Yep. But then as coaches, we understand that feedback is so important for students. Indeed. And for the fact of trying to keep this space here between the club shaft and my body, ensuring that I'm not getting indeed, that strict, exactly I would right. Feel that. Instant feedback. Instant feedback. And not only that, it's something brilliant. Even if you're out on the golf course, right, you can just grip down there, have a few practice swings, get a feeling for it and especially in between shots from the driving range here, just two or three of those. Getting a feeling as well for very misinterpreted way would be that obviously we're not necessarily trying to independently do that with just by pulling the arms. Correct. We're allowing the body to pull this unit forward for us. So yeah. again, instant feedback for you and a great, great feel to take in. We were talking about intent during drills. Indeed. And if I'm doing any sort of drill with the clubs on the ground, it's very important that players at home learn how to strike the golf ball because we are going to do that when we're playing. Correct. So with this exercise and drill here, guys, I don't want you to get to the top and do all the hard work, which Liam is just so well said of what you need to do coming down into the ball and then just do that. Correct. Correct. Right. Absolutely now, right. If you finish like this, <laughs> we're in a bit of trouble, yeah. right? So make sure that we are coming down into position and just pretend like you're clipping a ball off a short exactly. tee. Exactly. And just be aware of the distance between this club and the body there, mate. And a big, a really important point, I think, that when you're doing a drill, you've got three different things to kind of attach yourself to. So you've got the look of it, you know, is, is it doing what I want it to do on camera, let's say, as a source of feedback. Mm. Uh, the feel of it. So what does this feel like in relation to how I would normally hit a shot? But the third thing is the speed of it. And like you've just said there, it's not necessarily doing this slowly. It's doing it at the intent that I would hit a golf shot. So doing it with some speed and getting some reference for how, how quick you've got to move to do that. Yeah. And just on top of that, for reference of the sort of players that any of these principles could be valuable for, is Liam teaches how many guys on the event this week? I've got six guys at the Desert Classic this week. Six guys on DP World Tour in Dubai here in one single event, right? So the pros you would teach as well, whenever you're doing these drills and exercises, 
you would always, as I'm sure that I do the same, is mm -hmm. like slow down, conscious, be aware, take yeah. your time. Yeah. And that little reminder, even for the players at the highest level, they need that to ensure that they have that right intent that they Indeed. can transition into Absolutely the ball. Absolutely right. And, and it's also getting their feedback along the way, right? So if you're on the range on your own, asking yourself those questions of, well, you know, what feels slightly different? And every player is going to feel something practically different with that drill. You might see two or three players do it, but where they're feeling things differently, you know, one could feel it right while well, my hands feel here, my body feels here. There could be a variance in, in that feedback, but it's up to you to be on the driving range, do them with some intent and really get that sensation of, right, that's where I want to be at impact. Mate, absolutely love it. All right, so I'm, well, I did pull some yesterday when I was out yeah. there playing, so I'm going to grip halfway down. I'm okay. going to go through that little feel. Exactly. Making sure I've got the intent on the way through. Yep. That feels fantastic. All right, I'm going to recreate that feel. Got it. Let's see if I can get my little push draw happening here. Yeah, very nice. That felt absolutely amazing. Really, really good. 